Have you ever had the creepy feeling that you are not alone in your own home? The thought of a complete stranger secretly settling in under your roof sounds like the stuff of nightmares and horror movies. However, some people have discovered unwelcome guests occupying their intimate living spaces and they were not always easy to get rid of. Tatsuku Horikawa In 2008, a 57-year-old Japanese man noticed that food was going missing from his fridge and suspected that a burglar was getting in. He decided to go to the trouble of installing security cameras that sent live footage of his home to his phone. One day, he received an eerie video of an unknown woman opening his fridge. He immediately called the police, who headed for his home, hoping to catch the intruder. However, the police were surprised to find the doors and windows secure and showing no indication of break-in. They entered the home anyway, assuming that the burglar was still inside. However, they found no trace of the burglar until they inspected a shelf just above the closet. Inside, they discovered 58-year-old Tatsuku Horikawa. Their investigations revealed that Horikawa had secretly resided in several other houses in the area before ensconcing herself in the man's home. She had been living there for a year before being sprung. Tracy In 2012, Tracy was satisfied that she and her five children were the sole occupants of her South Carolina home. However, she became shocked to discover that there was one extra person, an ex-boyfriend she had broken up with 12 years earlier. Tracy was hearing some strange noises coming from her attic the day before discovering him. She and two of her sons went up to check the attic but found nothing. The unusual sounds continued throughout the night while unnervingly plaster and nails from the ceiling were also falling on her bed and floor. Tracy asked a nephew to come and check the attic the following day. Her nephew initially found nothing until he ventured deeper into the attic where her ex was sleeping. The ex quickly left the house with a grin on his face and Tracy later learnt that he could view her bedroom through an air vent. Tracy could not work out how her ex got into her house or how long he had been staying there. He had helped her install new doors a year earlier and had recently completed a 90-day sentence for stealing her car. The unwanted tenant left his belongings in the attic, including photos and cassettes, along with several cups of faeces and urine. Val McKellen In 2013, a 73-year-old grandmother called Val McKellen became aware that the front part of her Yelm Washington home was colder than other areas in her home. She decided that the heating was not working properly and installed another furnace. But the problem was still there, so she called a repairman to check out the system. The repairman uncovered that the cause of the issue was not the furnace, but that a person was living under her house. The unknown interloper had cut her heating ducts to redirect the warmth there. Kellen was shocked, but reported that while she had never seen the person, she had noticed some unusual events around her home. She had once found her gate open and often detected an odour which she described as worse than cigarettes. The repairman discovered only a single beer can under the house. Anthony Jones In 2017, a woman was shocked when she realised that a man was living in the attic of her rented apartment in Arlington, Virginia. The woman was home alone one night when she heard footsteps in the attic. She contacted her landlord, who denied walking in the attic that night, and called the police. Police attended and were searching the attic when they ordered anyone inside to show themselves. A man, later identified as 60-year-old Anthony Jones, emerged and surrendered himself. Inside the attic were found his clothes and bedding. Police never found out how long Jones had been in the house and suspected he had entered through an unlocked door. Jeremy In 2013, an off-campus shared house 
of Ohio State University students had often found their cupboards and microwaves left open and had sometimes heard noises from the basement. At first they didn't think much of the events and often joked that the strange occurrences were the work of a ghost. Their ghost turned out to be a secret roommate when maintenance workers had to force open the basement. Their mystery tenant was another student named Jeremy. They allowed him to remove his belongings before evicting him. No one knew how Jeremy had got into the house or how long he had been residing there, but they guessed it was before they moved in, as the landlord had never changed the locks. One of the roommates realised that he had met Jeremy earlier, but assumed he was a visitor. The Donovans In 2012, Troy and Dana Donovan and their two children had locked up their Littleton, Colorado home before temporarily staying in Indiana, where Troy had secured a short-term job. However, two law-savvy squatters had moved in during their absence and on their return, the family ended up living for months in a relative's basement 65 miles away. The squatters, called Jose and Veronica, claimed they were entitled to the house through an affidavit of adverse possession and had paid $5,000 to a real estate agent. This was despite Colorado law requiring that a minimum of 18 years needed to have elapsed before a house could be occupied under the adverse possession law. The Donovans had been absent from their home for only a few months, but the police refused to intervene because the case was considered civil rather than criminal, as the squatters were never caught breaking in. Jose and Veronica then got a restraining order against the Donovans prohibiting them from coming near the house. The Donovans later gained a court judgment which ordered the couple to vacate the home within 48 hours. However, it was never going to be that easy because Veronica had just filed for bankruptcy. Under Colorado law, a squatter is protected from eviction if they declare bankruptcy. Hopefully we can assume that eventually the Donovans got to go home. Amber Dawn in 1997, after moving into her new apartment in Enumclaw, Washington, Amber Dawn heard very clear footsteps in her attic. She observed that the trapdoor leading to the attic looked suspicious, as if it had been pulled up by someone inside, but never considered that someone could actually be in there. When she told her landlady about the footsteps, she dismissed it as a squirrel. However, Dawn continued to notice strange events in her home over the following months. Cans of food mysteriously went missing, doors were closed that she had left open, items were being moved, and when the place flooded once, she came home to find her nine-week-old puppy thoughtfully placed inside her bathroom basin, where it could not have climbed by itself. Dawn was working three jobs, so often not at home, until six months down the track, when she had to stay home one day due to illness. Her break from her usual schedule uncovered the truth. She had heard a loud noise in her bedroom and attributed it to one of her pets, then decided to have a long soak in the bathtub. When she looked up at the trapdoor leading to her attic, she was shocked to see it was open. The intruder was hiding in her wardrobe. Grabbing a hammer and her dog, she fled the house. Police later searched Dawn's apartment and could find no one. However, they discovered food, a book and a sleeping bag inside her attic. Davis Wallman In 2016, Davis Wallman heard rustling noises coming from the attic of his Seattle home. When he went upstairs to check, he found the light in one of the rooms was on, which was strange because he had turned it off. He attempted to enter the room but the door was locked from inside. When he knocked, an unknown woman answered from within, asking if it was Jimmy. Wildman said he was not Jimmy and asked why she was in his house, then called the police. Finally, the tracksuited woman opened the door and told him she had been living in the house for three days. She insisted that someone called Jimmy had given her permission to stay. She fled before the police arrived and Wildman saw that she still had her belongings in his attic. The night before, he had noticed that some lights he had turned off were turned on, the fly screen removed from his bathroom, 
and a fire escape ladder left hanging from his deck. He changed all of his locks after the incident. Catherine Lang. In what appears to be another case of fraud, in 2018, a woman returned from a vacation to find strangers living in her new home in South Carolina. Catherine Lang decided to inspect the pipes of her new abode and was surprised to find a dog and a cat outside. On entering the house, she found two women inside. One of the women, called Tigra Shepherd, had moved into the house after responding to an advertisement on Facebook. She had paid out $1,150 to the tricksters who had posed as the owners. They told her that she needed to enter the house through the back door, claiming that the person who was supposed to bring the keys was detained by police. Presumably, after clearing up the mystery, Lang herself was able to move into her new home. Zeng. In China, a resourceful homeless man called Zeng managed to live undetected in the storage space above a man's apartment for three months. The householder, called Wang, would never have found out about Zeng if his clandestine housemate hadn't locked the door from the inside. Wang called the police, who found a hole in his kitchen ceiling that led to the attic of the three-storey apartment building. They found Zeng inside the crawl space. Before the discovery, in Kunshan, Jiangsu province in 2014, Wang had noticed that money and food were going missing in his home. Police later worked out that Zeng had stolen about 2,000 yuan from Wang's apartment. He was also cooking meals for himself when Wang was away. Zeng had entered the attic from outside the building and confessed to alternating between Wang's home and that of a neighbour.